In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a PIO for switches. First, let's come up here to our system where we have it saved. I'll tear my systems and copy the system. Name this system 4. Double click in here and open the QPF file. All right, here's our block diagram that we had before. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is open up QSYS. Choose our QSYS file. And in here, since it's a PIO, PIO, search for it in our IP catalog, add a PIO, and since there's on the DE2115 18 switches, we're going to put 18, 0 to 17. That makes since on the since on the DE2115 board there's 18 switches, we're going to put 18 in here for data width, and these are not outputs, these are now inputs, so we're going to choose, change from what we've been doing with the PIO from going using outputs, using inputs. On here we don't want to have any edge capture or interrupts because we're going to reserve those for our push buttons, they're better for that, but we could do it on using the switches if we wanted to. So click finish, come down here for our clock, we want to add that clock to her clock, our resets to both the PI, uh, the clock reset and the JTAG debug reset. S1, just the data master. And then now let's take a look at our errors. Our errors are all telling us that we have memory overlapping. So we're going to lock that. Come up here, generate our system, assign base addresses, and then all of our systems go away. But we have a warning, a NEOS 2 system, PIO 0. External connection must be exported. Oh, I forgot to export the system. I also forgot to rename this. This is a very generic name. We're going to want to name this switches. So right click, rename, switches. Double click to export the connection. And we're going to just name it switches for the export as well. And now that I have that, all of my errors and warnings have gone. I'm going to save our system. Go to generate, generate HDL, Verilog, create BSF file, generate. Now our generation is complete successfully. That's good. That's what we want to see. Minimize QSYS. Come over here and delete our block diagram that's in here since it is from a pre-existing um, our old system, system 3, double click in our workspace, click on the three dots, we're going to want to find for system 4, put file, nope, it's under new system, new system BSF, OK, click that, and now line it up and see, OK, our LED green, green LEDs, red LEDs, a reset, everything is good. It looks like I have something mistaken here. So let's save this real fast and come back to our switches. Let's take a double look at these. Oh, I have in out. I want it as an output or as an input only. I mean, so I want it as an input since the switches are input, not an in out. So a mistake on my part. I want to come back over here, fix that, make sure I have no other errors or warnings. Generate, generate the HDL generate. Our generation was completely or completed successfully. That's good. We can minimize QSYS now. Now in here, see how it still hasn't updated because we have to update the block diagram. So we're going to have to delete it. Double click. Find our NEOS2 system BSF. Open. OK. Bring it in here. Everything lines up, reset, realities, green LEDs, clock, and now switches, or switches, which is blue, which means it's an input. So we're going to want to come over here and find an input pin. Place this input pin. 
connect it. And now name it. And the name for these are going to be SW. Capital. So SW bracket. And since we have 18 of them, so 17 dot dot zero and bracket. And we should be good. Save this file and compile. As we can see that it says the cord is to full compilation was successful, zero errors, 516 warnings. That's great, that's what we want to see. So everything is good. This project and all its accompanying documentation can be downloaded and found at fpga.seanwral.com. Go download it and play around and learn some more about some FPGAs.